I sought the Lord and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked in Him and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him from out of his troubles. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help that is kind of trouble. An icon, peacemaker, role model, and the backbone of his family. Those were the adjectives used to describe Coast Guard Lieutenant Rondell Douglas as family, friends, and law enforcement officers paid their final tribute to the Ghana Defense Force officer during a viewing ahead of a funeral service at a Lycan's funeral home on Monday. Music, memories, and tears flow as hundreds join the queue to get their final glance of Lieutenant Douglas. Decked in their uniforms, his colleagues give their final salute to the officer who served with commitment and dedication throughout his career. For those who knew him, Lieutenant Douglas impacted their lives in some way or the other, and his legacy will forever live on. There is so much great things that I can say about my brother, and he was very much a family person, God-fearing. In all, a very wonderful soul. He is basically the backbone for, for the family. This is the hardest thing for any, anybody to do right now. It's really hard. He always been the peacemaker. He was the one basically that the boys look up to in sense of whenever the air, he would be the spokesperson for all the other students. Um, he was a star. They, they can never be a replacement with Rhonda Douglas. The memories with him are very, what should I say? One that I will never forget, and we want God to continue, keep his soul on his arms and shield him from any harm. He was very articulate. He is probably one of the few persons I never heard spoke one word of broken English. We, we didn't know, or at least I did not know, our paths would have crossed and we would have gotten so deep. Many times when I'm in my battles, even now, and even when I was a young teenager, I would always ask myself, if Ronell was in this situation, what Ronell would have done? And given I ask myself that question, that's how I would actually come out of my own personal sorrows and troubles by using Rondell as somewhat of an icon or a role model. Lieutenant Douglas was a husband and a father. The 33-year-old worked as a part-time taxi driver. He was shot and killed on the evening of June 7 as he put up a fight with two men, one of whom posed as a customer and robbed him of his car. Draped with a flag of Guyana, Lieutenant Douglas' casket was taken out of the parlor and placed into the horse as the funeral procession made its way to Stanley Town on the west bank of Demerara for the funeral service, followed by burial at Lagrange. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabacus.